Wow, that took a very violent turn of events for Pupa. Okay, so besides the awkward censoring of this entire episode for scenes like, I'm like, a entire black line goes straight through the freaking screen. I'm like, okay, what are they trying to censor out? I think they were trying to censor a knife. What, what were they trying to censor? But besides that, the entire scene when the brother just freaking does it. Boom! Right into the dude's eye sockets. I was like, "Oh shit! That was so violent." Why? So you you censor a damn knife with a little bit of blood, or probably a gesture, but you don't censor that eye gorging scene. What? Fell? Freaking fell! But that was epic. That that's probably the best scene in Pupa so far in this series, and that's just going out there. I mean. Even though this episode was on a whole new level of shit, it still, that, that gore was entertaining in and of itself. This episode was pretty much just an entire torture episode. Anyone that is just uh, head over heels of gory scenes and just gets kicks out of seeing someone get tortured and seeing worms and maggots crawling in their back, then I guess in this episode for you. Besides the creepiness of it, the atmosphere was good, the animation was good once again, but like I said, the pacing was just so fucking off, I didn't understand what the hell was going on. Okay, so they introduce some dude that we have no clue who is, hasn't had any appearance in any of the other episodes, we don't know who the hell this dude is, but somehow he appears in the middle of actually the school entrance, pulls out a knife with no one seeing him, and proceeds to actually have Yumi and her brother locked up into a warehouse torturing her brother. So, that was a lot of skipped events right in the entire middle of that. Let's not even get into the fact of why nobody saw this person kidnap those two, so I'm just gonna get out of that one too. So what I'm getting at is there's a lot of plot holes in this episode, a lot of just bad pacing all around, and it even confuses this rumbling mess of a plot even worse. So, they're introducing characters now that we have no clue who is. We didn't even get a name of their organization. All I could tell from this episode is they know what they are, but they're a bunch of thugs. That's all I got, or they just are very happy about torturing people. That, that's the only thing, is the dude seemed like he was getting off on just stabbing her brother over and over again. It's like, oh, I can play with you forever. So, what? What? Uh, okay, so there, there were some very awkward moments, I, I will say, and honestly, I just can't get over the censor facts. Like, I don't know what the hell they were censoring. I've said this before, but what the hell? There was a shining lot right at the beginning when the dudes, I, I'm guessing, pulled out a knife and they fought to censor a knife, but they don't censor the eyeball scene. I just, I don't understand that. I really don't. And so it must have been something pretty violent or he flipped them off. That's the only thing I could come to the conclusion of too. So I don't know how we can go from a character actually flipping someone off to actually being locked up into a warehouse and the dude's torturing them repeatedly. So honestly, yeah, I'm lost, okay? I don't know if anyone else is. I want to leave it up to you manga readers out there to probably explain the plot to me like usual. Honestly, tell me your thoughts on this. Do you think this adaptation is good? Well, I can't believe I'm asking this question. This is probably the worst adaptation I've ever seen. Anyways, you all a wonderful day or night wherever you live. Everybody, stick tuned for my next anime rant on Pupa next week. Chibi out.